Hey guys, it's Noah. I just wanted to come on here super briefly just to discuss everything that's been going on online. I feel like my thoughts and beliefs have been so far misconstrued from anything even close to what I believe. Y'all, can we talk about Noah Schnapp? Because I love Stranger Things and what he's been doing on the internet is pissing me off. Like Netflix, if y'all are watching this video, can y'all pull him off? Can y'all give us some fan service? Give us a 10 minute Will Byers death scene? Noah Schnapp is getting canceled again. And this time people are more pissed than ever before. From fans calling for him to get fired from Stranger Things to even Millie Bobby Brown allegedly calling him out. Noah Schnapp just seems to be getting more and more disliked and people are now saying he is officially done. So let's get into his latest controversy. So Noah Sharp just came out with his apology video on TikTok um, in translation, his PR team and Netflix forced him to do this because the new season of Stranger Things is coming out and this boy is canceled which means a lot of people are gonna cancel the show and not watch it. So in November of last year, a clip of Noah and his friends at a coffee shop started going viral. In the clip, Noah and his friends can be seen laughing, passing around stickers with messages regarding the ongoing Israel and Hamas war. However, a section of people were rubbed off the wrong way by the video, and it wasn't long before people started calling out Noah online. Just take a look at these comments. I find it odd how people like this are happily making fun of a conflict they probably knew nothing about until a couple of weeks ago, all the way from the comfort of their own privileged lives while they make fun of those who are being wiped out. Every time I see something about Noah, it gets worse and worse. If this guy isn't canceled by today, the world should just give up. Not even surprised anymore, he just wants his career to be over at this point. This guy alone is taking my interest off Stranger Things, which I like a lot. Now, this video did not go down well at all with Noah Schnapp's fans as almost every Every single comment that he has gotten after this video have been things like people saying they're unfollowing him, pointing out the fact that he deleted the IG story, and just a few hours ago he disabled his entire comment section because so many people were coming at him about the video. Now, this situation got even worse when people started calling for Noah Schnapp to get fired from Stranger Things and even threatened that they wouldn't watch the final season of Stranger Things if Noah was part of the cast. After the video started going viral, an alleged quote was posted on Instagram saying, just when you think you know people, they disappoint you in ways you never thought they could. Under that alleged post, rumors started spreading around that Millie Bobby Brown commented saying, too real. After this, people started assuming that she was referring to Noah and his controversial video. This was because back in 2018, Millie was announced as a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, meaning that she was an advocate for peace, and her friend Noah was seemingly taking a stand on one of the most sensitive sensitive political issues in the world. And you know what? From some point of view, I could see why Noah Schnapp is acting this way. I can see why he's calling Zionism sexy, why he's saying all this goofy shit. It's because he knows he's about to fall off. He is the Draymond Green of the Stranger Things crew. Go look at Lucas from Stranger Things. His ass was in a LeBron James documentary. Go look at Mike from Stranger Things. He was in the movie It. He was fighting Pennywise. Go look at Eleven from Stranger Things. She's in fucking Fortnite and she was in a movie with Henry Cavill. He's fucking Superman. And what does Noah Schnapp have to show since he started in Stranger Things? Not sh but a shitty haircut. However, that isn't where Noah's controversies seem to end. Just a few days after that controversial video went viral, the Forbes North America 30 under 30 list were released, and to everyone's surprise, Noah Schnapp had somehow made it onto the list. His controversial video aside, many people felt that Noah hadn't done anything of significance apart from his Stranger Things role for him to be included on the list. Unlike the other people on the list, which included the likes of Jenna Ortega, Molly Gordon, and Kaylee Spaney. A lot of people felt that Noah was undeserving of that privilege and they made sure to express their opinions. Noah's agents must have paid for him to be on that list. Noah Schnapp on this list. Noah Schnapp really out here being the only Stranger Things included even though he's done the least. Noah who? One thing about it, two things for sure. I love a good shady tweet. So Forbes has included Noah Schnapp in its list of 30 under 30, spotlighting the next generation of talent. The actor currently has no projects lined up besides Stranger Things Season 5. <laughs> Gag him. Gag him, T. That's a very shady way of saying Noah Schnapp will be unemployed after Stranger Things. Because Millie Bobby Brown, she's booked and busy. Sadie got jobs. 
So why does it know her? But after this whole ordeal and zygismic sexy, yeah, yeah, you won't be working no more. By the way, during all this backlash that he was receiving online, Noah had stayed quiet regarding his controversial video. Well, that's until a few days ago when he decided to post this video. Hey guys, it's Noah. I just wanted to come on here super briefly just to discuss everything that's been going on online. I feel like my thoughts and beliefs have been so far misconstrued from anything even close to what I believe. And I wanted to just state from my heart how I feel. I only want peace and safety and security for all innocent people affected by this conflict. In the video, Noah proceeded to say that he felt that his thoughts and beliefs were misunderstood and that all he has ever wanted is for all the innocent people caught up in the midst of the Israel and Hamas conflict. Noah said that he has taken the time to engage in conversations in regards to the conflict and that he has learned a lot. He also stressed the need for people to have open conversations about the issue in order for people to be educated. But Noah's response doesn't seem to be having the intended response from the internet. Many, if not all, of the people who were angered by his first video felt that even though Noah said a lot of things, none of it was an apology. Not to mention the fact that he had to let it go on for a seriously long time before he issued an apology. People even questioned the timing and sincerity of his video because coincidentally, it came the same week that Noah had gone to begin shooting the final season of Stranger Things. Rumors have even started going around that Netflix are the ones who made Noah make the video. All of this, that apology video was BS. He didn't mean a word of that. It was just damage control because he doesn't like that we're not being nice to him. F Noah Schnapp. Why is Noah Schnapp only now apologizing the week that Stranger Things goes back to filming? And why is he acting like people weren't educating him from the beginning while he continued to do ignorant things like this? Noah Schnapp went on TikTok to explain himself and how he's been learning a lot about this very complex conflict. LMAO, there's nothing complex about this. The Stranger Things team just told him to say something. Not Noah Schnapp conveniently making an apology video the week that Stranger Things returns to filming. You're not slick. We all know they made you say this. Only reason he made this video is because Netflix is desperate for you to watch it and to make anyone who would have felt guilty watching it before maybe be okay with watching it now. They're desperate for you to not only watch it, but to like it and talk about it on Twitter and buy their merchandise and watch their celebrity interviews and keep it culturally relevant forever, even if it's ironic and you're hate watching it. Loves, as you can tell from all the comments I have highlighted so far, Noah Schnapp is far from the most loved celebrity online currently. But Noah has had a complicated and controversy filled relationship with the internet for a long time now. Y'all remember when he was beefing with Doja Cat in one of the most unexpected and arguably weirdest reasons I have ever Ever seen. Well, it all started after Doja Cat had watched Stranger Things and seemingly developed a crush on Joseph Quinn, who played Eddie Munson on the show. Now, having a crush on a TV character is nothing new. However, being in the unique position of being a famous rapper and all, Doja had the celeb power to try and shoot her shot and maybe see what could happen. But Doja had a slight problem. She couldn't find Joseph online, so there was no DM for her to slide into. So Doja decided to ask for Noah Schnapp help since he knew Joseph from the show. Doja didn't know if Joseph had a girlfriend, but Noah basically told her not to worry and even encouraged her to go for it. After this, Noah, seemingly fascinated by the whole encounter, decided to share the screenshots of his private conversation online for the whole world to see. The screenshots went super viral with over 20 million people seeing them before they were deleted. Doja, on the other hand, wasn't super happy about this whole situation and went on a severe rant about Noah on her eyes. IG Live. But the fact that this person, that Noah did that, like went and posted a private conversation between me and him is so unbelievably like socially unaware and whack. And like, you know what I mean? Like that's like borderline snake shit. 
After that, many would have said that the two would never reconcile, but later, Noah revealed that they were actually on good terms. In an interview with Variety, Noah said, Yeah, I mean, look, I'm super unserious on social media and pretty goofy, so I posted that not thinking too much of it, but obviously it hurt her feelings, so as I should, I apologized, and she was totally okay with it and was like, I'm sorry how I reacted. It was all good. I love her. I'm like the biggest fan of her music, and I told her that. I was like, you're literally my role model. It's all good. People make such a big deal out of everything when it's on the internet, but like in reality, it's like a two minute thing. Now, of course, though many people felt it was wrong for Noah to share a private conversation on the internet like that, they also felt it was wrong for Doja Cat to be involving someone as young as Noah in her love life. To be fair, first let's be, let's be, try to be chill about it. To be fair, this is like, a, a kid like Noah is like I don't know how old he is but there, he's not even over like there's no way he's over like 21 and he might be like I could be wrong but like when you're that young you make mistakes you do dumb shit. I'm like trying to be super fair. Loves, the Doja Cat incident wasn't even Noah's most infamous controversy. Far from it. A while back, a video of Noah singing along to Freaky Friday started making the rounds. In the video, Noah reportedly shouted out what sounded like the N word. <laughs> So naturally, when the video hit the internet, everyone believed that Noah truly said the N-word. The internet went wild, with many people shocked by Noah's behavior. To make matters worse, Noah had previously come out in support of Lil Huddy, who had used the N-word. Now, Noah quickly came out with a statement to clear his name. He wrote, Hi guys, recently a video from last summer has gotten out of me dancing and singing a song while singing the word neighbor over the N-word. I would truly never say the N-word word and I'm not that type of person. I genuinely have never used that word in my life. Using the word neighbor in that song was just something my camp friends and I did. I hope you all understand I could never even think about doing that. My friends also would never post a video or support me if I was saying that slur without hesitation. I apologize for using a replacement word. It's not my place to use one and I should have kept my mouth shut. I understand why it is found offensive and I am so sorry. Now BC remember that video of Noah Schnapp saying that word on the bus in 2020, like yelling it, with a lot of confidence. Y'all look at this. Oh, though, that. Now, the N-word controversy was still far from his worst. That would have to go to the time that he got canceled for liking homophobic jokes. Now, this all happened after Noah came out to the world using a TikTok with the caption, when I finally told my friends and family I was gay after being scared in the closet for 18 years and all they said was, we know. Noah received a lot of praise and support from his fans for taking such a brave step and opening up to the world like that. But this was to be short-lived because Noah liked a meme from a fake Millie Bobby Brown, which seemed to have had some very homophobic content. This had to be one of Noah's most questionable moments because not only did he personally know Millie and know that it was a fake meme, but he also knew how traumatizing the whole homophobic memes were for Millie that she even quit Twitter because of how many people were using her face to spread such hateful messages. Loves, it got so bad that people even began calling him homophobic, but his fans believed that he was being falsely accused. So wait, they're attacking Noah for liking the post, but not the creator for making the post after they knew how it made Millie feel over the years? I feel like Noah was super nervous about coming out and this is all happening to him and he doesn't really deserve it. I think people just can't handle the fact that he's also a human being. People can't take a joke nowadays. No, it's the fact that Millie has said multiple times that the homophobic jokes make her uncomfortable and it even got to the point where she left social media because of it. No teenager should have to go through that and Nash should know more than anyone how much it hurts her with I'm being her best friend. I'm happy for Noah coming out because it was such a brave move, but the homophobic comments were uncalled for because he can be himself and not care about what y'all homophobes have to say. We love you, Noah, and how can someone be homophobic when they're gay? Y'all are crazy. Let him be. Now, Noah Schnapp just seems to be dividing opinions and attracting controversies everywhere he goes. And his latest controversial video is just 
just one on the list of many. But do you believe he deserves all the backlash he has been getting, or are people online just picking on him? Let me know in the comments down below, and loves, don't forget to check out my other videos to ensure you are up to date with all the tea. Till next time, bye loves!